I got to thinking, what if Dollar Tree created a store just for blinks? It could be called Dollar Tree Embroidery Blinks. <laughs> Perhaps I'm just a dreamer, but my dreams aren't too far-fetched. Join me and discover the embroidery blinks available at Dollar Tree. Hi, this is Candia, and I am outside of a Dollar Tree headed in to find some blanks. For and so I came across these totes. Uh, these are canvas totes. And they have it in red and they have it in like a, a teal. I know it looks kind of turquoise, but this is actually teal. And uh, if someone had fast frames or those dirty frames, these uh, would be very good. And they're kind of durable. They're made of canvas, so it's not that uh, paper material. But you can just um, open it and uh, put it on the hoop and then embroider, embroider the name across. So um, this is a good find, a wonderful find for... Uh, for those of you who may have the fast frames. Now, I did take a look at it and I opened it up. This is not really a good idea for um, someone using regular hoops because um, you would probably have a hard time getting it on the machine if you were planning to use something larger than a 4x4 four four hoop. Okay, and, and for a single needle machine, I'm sorry, a single needle machine would even have a harder time. So if you have a multi needle machine or even a persona, or something with like a, you know a single needle but with four heads, then you could probably get a five by seven hoop on this as well, a regular five five by seven hoop, and allow it to float, or you can hoop it on. But ideally, it is a Dollar Tree um, item. I'm not sure if you want to. Uh, fight with it to get it on the hoop. But overall, this is um, a good find. And then we have these um, hand or bath puppets. They are very cute. In fact, same just like the um, oven mitten. You can open up the sides and then um, personalize it here. And they have quite a few. They have a fish with polka dots. This is absolutely adorable. And then a, uh, a duck. And then behind here, Let's see, this blue one is like a, a whale, but these are very cute. And then I did come across this hooded towel. I'm not sure of the durability, how, of the capability of it withstanding the, um, the pounding of the embroidery machine, but overall this would probably be a good find as well or something very quickly to um, personalize. And I came across these uh, satin pillowcase. They are blanks. Um, they, the size is a 20 by um, 30. That's not the standard size of a regular pillowcase, so this seems kind of um, maybe small or maybe kind of snug. But they are blanks, and they are a dollar. The only my concern would be um, the material, the polyester, the 100% polyester. Um, I'm not sure if it has the capability of um, withstanding the uh, stitches, the pounding of the machine. But it's worth uh, buying one, at least giving it a try to see what would happen. And then they have some table toppers that I just noticed as well. And, and you could monogram that. That would be a, a, a nice addition to, let's say, a, a guest bedroom or something. But overall, um, the satin pillowcases they have in um, a few different colors, quite a few different colors. So this would be something to uh, just try out. I wouldn't. And then I uh, stumbled across these fabric placemats. Um, you know, hopefully your Dollar Tree is uh, much more presentable than mine, but they do have nice colors and. Um, this is a nice addition for um, a summer cookout or a family reunion. You can market it like that. Um, but it, they are fabric, and it is layered. So they have like a backing on it and a front. And as you can see, it has a little texture on it. So this is very cute. And it comes in um, three different colors from what I can see here. That's the orange and the, uh, the yellow. And then they have the red. And so... I believe that this would be able to uh, hold up, you know, with the, uh, the embroidery and the applique. So this is also a good find. 
And then they have these drawstring sacks or these drawstring bags, perfect for camp. However, I don't think that this would be a good idea. It seems that, you know, it's more like a paper, even though it, it has um, the drawstring. You can't put many things in this, and I don't think that it would have the capability of withstanding the pounding of the machine. And so even though it has a good size, overall size, to fit on fast frames or uh, a regular size hoop, and they have a, a bunch of variety of colors, as you can see. It wouldn't be ideal, it wouldn't be a good candidate, because I believe that the pounding of the embroidery would just destroy it, unless you layered it several times, several times with um, some kind of medium weight stabilizer. And then, because of the thinness of it, I believe it would be visible. So in my opinion, even though this is a blank, it's not a good fit. And then I came across these little tool boxes. So we've been talking about uh, Father's Day gifts or uh, baskets or ensembles for men. And uh, these are cute. You could definitely put something personalized in here. And uh, you don't have to get crazy. It's a nice size, but it's not really a tiny one. And then they have these tubs over here that you definitely could use as a bin and uh, pack it with a towel and stuff if you wanted to really uh, make a manly kind of um, ensemble. And they even have a painter set here as well. And I've never seen this in here at all, actually. Um, so uh, if you wanted to put a kit together for a uh, gentleman, you can definitely um, find you know, the, uh, the accessories to go inside of a kit here. And um, another thing is they have these microfiber towels here uh, for the cars, and this is definitely a golden opportunity to uh, make an ensemble for Amanda, especially with all the accessories right here. So these items could be personalized and then accessorized with the items that you have here and then put into these tubs. So definitely a good find. And then in the pet section, I came across these dog harnesses, and these would be very cute to try out, at least for the summer and the, the springtime. Um, this would be very easy to uh, put on a floating hoop. Um, you don't have to hoop this, so you can just either put it on a fast frame or a regular hoop simply by opening this up and then embroidering across here or here or here. So definitely a good find, and from what I can see, they have it in two colors. Um, and then they actually they have it in three colors so that gives you some room and then with this one you could make it unisex especially if you used pink thread and then white thread would probably work best with this one and as well as this one this could be unisex you could use a hot pink thread or a royal blue thread or white thread to uh, make that work and so definitely a good find and then in the kids section where they have the toys, they have this uh, chef's hat. Now the poof on the chef's hat is made of paper and that's fine. And the band though is made of fabric and this is, would be ideal to personalize right here across the top. So this is definitely a good find, especially for the summertime coming up when you have those little chefs in your family or you know little chefs. And I just discovered that they also come in pink. So look at that. All right, so you have your blue and you have your pink. So this would be ideal, and obviously you could offer any kind of a thread coloring that you thought would work out, but just to suggest one, a purple or a uh, lime green would work best, probably, for even a hot pink with the pink one, and then you could also do a lime green or a white or a bold red or even a cornflower or sunflower yellow would definitely work out, but definitely a good find, another good find at Dollar Tree. And
And also in the kit section, they have these little miniature size uh, totes. Now, these uh, totes are not as thick as the canvas ones, but they can be personalized if you stabilize it with uh, something, let's say, like medium stabilizer or medium weight stabilizer. And they do have them in uh, two different colors. The only thing is just like uh, other things, you would have to open the sides up and then it would be able to fit on a 4x4 four four hoop or, you know, larger, and then you would have to sew it. So you would have to determine if it's worth the work that would be invested in regards to pulling it apart and having to put it back together, but a cute find indeed. But I think overall, this is probably the best find that I have found yet thus far, and it's because these t-shirts are not bad quality at all. Um, so they have them in a variety of colors and sizes, as you can see here. But I am just really impressed with the quality of it. Um, they don't feel hard. They feel like cotton, and they don't feel, you know, like it would be a headache to uh, embroider on. So definitely this is um, something that if you are trying to get into blanks and you don't want to do uh, – let's say minimum orders at um, on wholesale uh, websites, then it's worth taking a look to see if your local Dollar Tree have these in stock. And I just discovered rag rugs. <laughs> so they have these, and these are actually very cute, and they have them in a variety of colors, and this definitely could withstand the, uh, the pounding of the embroidery. But once you did decide to uh, embroider on it, they would no longer be reversible. And so, as you can see, they have um, it in purple, and they have it in um, the gray, and our red. And so, definitely um, some options here. And they even have a natural color one. Now, this one is a little bit different as the backing of this would probably be a little bit fussy because of this. I'm not sure if the needle would not get caught in between here or the pounding of it. But you could use a wall of salve topping. But once again, it's worth uh, just investing a dollar just to see if it will work. Put it on your machine and try it out. I wouldn't come and buy the whole rack before I knew that it would work out. And uh, these measure... 16 by 23, so maybe, you know, a nice little area if you uh, stand by your embroidery machine, this would be um, ideal. It's a very cute. And I came across these can coolers, and so these you could probably find a bit cheaper because these would be a dollar each, but if you needed something to uh, put in a uh, ensemble very quickly, then this is the way to go because you could just open the side up and then embroider or monogram it here and then sew it back together. So it's not that it's a bad find, but um, this is not a good find if you are looking to make multiples of these because you can definitely find them cheaper than a dollar. And even though winter is shortly leaving us, they do still have hats in stock. And um, these would be great to uh, personalize. And once again, Eve Lowry from the doll, from I'm sorry, from the baby's booty showed us how to uh, personalize on uh, skull caps such as these. And um, they also have them that has that little flap over. And so this would be definitely ideal to uh, pick up before uh, these are taken off the shelves and you would be prepared for next season. But I also walked right past these, which are wallets. Okay, now these wallets are very cute. I've never seen these before. And so they open up like so. And those of you who have the fast frames could probably get these on very easily. But I think that you could maneuver it enough if you have a 4x4 four four hoop to, or larger to uh, put this on because it opens up very well. And so if you really wanted to get it on your hoop, I think it is quite possible. So I would say that this is a good find, especially if the fact that they have them in a variety of colors. They have the red and then they have gray. So if you're looking for inexpensive things uh, for Father's Day coming up, 
or even Mother's Day coming up, that would be good. And it makes a cute gift for maybe, let's say, a teen or something as well. And then these neckties. This would be ideal to monogram, not necessarily personalized, but a nice monogram will work. And it makes a nice gift, especially if you're giving a gift from a child, then this would work. Another great find from Dollar Tree here with the ties and with the wallets. And then right next to it, they have this foil paper. Now, the foil paper isn't crinkle cut, but it definitely works for an ensemble. Obviously, more or less like something of a celebration or more or less for an adult. But then they have the, the uh, this sort of sheen kind of one, and this definitely will work any season, especially uh, for baby girls if you're doing, like, let's say, a soft pink and white. Um, but they do have... Um, they also have them in combination, so definitely a good source if you are trying to uh, start doing baskets and so forth. Um, then instead of ordering on these um, wholesale websites and so forth, I say come to Dollar Tree because you can get what you want. You don't have to have a minimum order of anything. You don't have to pay for shipping and handling. Um, and so you can order, you know, I mean, you can purchase five different colors for $5, and you really can't do that when you order online without paying the shipping and handling. So it's definitely worth the trip if you are thinking about uh, starting to make gift baskets and ensembles, regardless if you're doing adult gift baskets or baby gift baskets, you're still going to need something to enhance it, and this is the way to do it. Definitely another good find. And the umbrellas. The umbrellas is definitely a good find, especially at the fact that um, our embroidery boss member, Eve Lowry from the uh, Baby's Booty, she uh, showed us how to uh, personalize these. Um, and this is definitely a good way to practice, opposed to uh, buying a totes brand or a um, regular umbrella from a department store. And so you can't go wrong with black. Black goes with everything. And once again, our own member, embroidery boss, Eve Lowry, have uh, showed us how to personalize them. And um, I think that this is a good way to start. So definitely a good find at Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree is definitely prepared for the Easter holiday. Look at these colors of these pot holders and oven mittens. These are super adorable. Super adorable. And they will make very nice um, personalized sets, especially for the spring and summer, Mother's Day coming up. So definitely a good find. A Dollar Tree, especially compared to the solid colors that uh, we've been promoting, this is definitely a good or alternative. I, I think that I will pick up a few of these. And take a look at these bonnets. These are absolutely adorable, and they have them in a variety of colors. And so this would definitely work out. And um, they are made just like any other. Um, you know, floppy hats such as this, you would just have to stabilize it well because you can see through it as you can see. But you can monogram this or even personalize it and it would definitely work. And then I came across these caps. So those of you who are doing caps and using your hoops, Dollar Tree have blank caps to use, I mean to use them on. And so these are, uh, you know, wonderful colors for the spring and the um, summertime. And so I would, if I was you, gather them up now because I'm sure that this is probably seasonal just for the Easter season. And so because these work for uh, the summertime, you might want to gather them up now or even check out DollarTree.com to see if they have them in bulk. Definitely a And once again, those of you who have those collapsible, I'm sorry, those uh, fast frames, these collapsible storage containers will work out well. This would not be ideal for a, um, a regular embroidery hoop, whether you have a single needle machine or a, um, um, a multi-needle machine, but it would work for someone who had a multi-needle machine with a uh, fast frame or a dirty frame because even though it can stand alone, I believe that the embroidery machine, the needle that is, is um, strong enough to um, pound through whatever material that they are using to stabilize it and, and keep it upright. 
However, I would probably put it on the slowest speed and use a larger size needle. But they have them here in three colors. I'm not sure if that's all the colors that they have. But they have it in this fun green. And then it's pink. And then in this purple. And once again, this looks like this is going along with their uh, spring Easter collection. So if this is something that you think you might want to order or have in your inventory, you better order it now off of DollarTree.com. The size of this is 11 inches by 10 and a half, and 10 and a half. So that's a nice size um, bucket as well. And once again, it is a collapsible storage container. A and then also they have the uh, the natural the natural color um, a collapsible tote and um, they have them over here and uh, once again you can definitely get this on a fast frame uh, I'm not really uh, confident about a regular frame but uh, definitely a fast frame if you have a fast frame and then they have it in a smaller size and a gray and a black and then this one measures 9 by 9 by 8 inches as well as the uh, 11 by 10 and a half by 10 and a half. So this is a very nice large size as you can see. And it has a lot of things in it. So another good find. And my last find for the, today is these uh, microfiber waffle print kitchen towels that they have. Um, I'm looking at three colors. Love this teal that they have here. Okay, and then they have it in lime, and they have it in green, and uh, with the right type of stabilizer, this definitely can withstand the um, embroidery. Very cute. And um, they have bowls to match. I know the bowls. <laughs> I just wanted to show them to you because I love the color of these bowls. But these colors are absolutely new and absolutely phenomenal. So this is definitely another good find. Actually, I believe that this is my last find. They have these totes that are a little bit larger, and this would be cute for party favors as well. And they have them in a variety of colors. And so you just got to get down. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I'd recommend Dollar Tree to any embroidery business owner who have a limited budget, who are not looking to buy minimum orders or in large quantities, who are just starting out and not quite sure which direction they are going in, or to a seasoned embroidery business owner wanting to add a few new things to their inventory. You see, Dollar Tree works for everyone not uh, just for parties or uh, cookouts or you know little odds and ends it works uh, especially if you are just starting up or if you do have limited budgets and, and so forth or you just want to experiment and so I challenge you all to uh, go shop at your Dollar Tree uh, don't spend a lot just pick up a, a couple of things even if you just invested five dollars and just got five different items to see if it would work with your embroidery business is it's worth it because if it doesn't work then it's not a large investment but if it do work it could be so much more profitable than just investment of five dollars that's all I have for you today if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel consider visiting me on Facebook at candiahainsworth.com and if you are an embroidery business owner consider joining us in Embroidery Boss on Facebook. Once again, that's all I have for you today. And until then, I'll see you next time.